Two buses packed with adults and children, all Egyptian cops, were on their way to St Samuel's Monastery in Minya, southern Egypt, on the 26th of May 2017. They were going to celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. Suddenly, Nadia recalls, on the remote desert road, their joyful journey was stopped by armed men. <laughs> The armed militants in masks first shot at the wheels of the buses, then they got inside the bus. Nadia from a rural town in Beni Suef province was with her son Hani. Daughter Zoraida and son-in-law Same were there too, with Nadia's three-year-old grandson. Many of Nadia's extended family were also on the bus. What happened next, Nadia wishes had only been a bad dream. Then it was the other men's turn. All of them were given the same choice, to renounce Christianity or die. From her seat at the back, Nadia saw the men approach her son, Hani. He raised his wrist too, and Nadia heard his last words, No, I am a Christian. Now an entire wall in her house is covered with Hani's pictures, among them his last selfie from earlier that day. After all the men were shot, the gunman turned to the women, shouted insults and demanded their jewellery. One of them approached Nadia. Nadia was moved on to a Cairo hospital where she had seven operations on her hand in two months. Now she cannot do anything with that arm. Back to the day of the attack, Nadia recalls how the killers grabbed her grandson, three-year-old Mina, and said they would kill him if the girls on the bus wouldn't go with them. The attackers were distracted by the arrival of a pickup truck of workers. They left Mina and went after the truck. The attack claimed 28 lives, including two children. 25 others were injured. Nadia now says she is the mother of six children, one of whom is in heaven.